Hello and Namaste. So today we are going to review Closure's copy. So uh, let's first start with what is Closure's copy. Uh, well, a Closure's copy is an AI power tool that will write compelling marketing and sales copy for you. Using Closure's copy, you can also create blog posts or any long form or emails or various other stuff. So starting from the content research to generating content that will connect with your audience, Closure's copy has become a benchmark in the AI writing era recently. So even though Closure's copy can help you uh, writing various other stops, Closure's copy is more uh, inclined towards um, marketing, copywriting, or let's say sales a copy, etc. Having said that, even though it's called like marketing copy or sales copy engine, you may create a lot more stops using Closure's copy. Okay, so let's first start with the structure. Closure's copy is structured in a project and then article order. So first, you will need to create projects and then under that you can create as many articles as you would like to. So let's create one project, review and then we will create another article inside it that will also be named as review. So when you open uh, this new article that you have uh, created, you will get to see the writing canvas of Closure's copy. Okay, so let's uh, start with the overview of the Closure's copy canvas. On the top panel, you will see the formatting elements. From this panel, you can format your content according to your preference. This panel allows you to redo, undo, select language, fonts, headings, permit painter, and several other options. On the left hand side panel, you will see the closures copy functionality or features. We will go over them one by one. But the first thing that uh, we would like to show you over here is the color mode. So even though that comes a little later, but we would like to highlight that in the beginning because this is something that we love the most and according to our preference we can change the color mode so from the settings you can enable the dark mode or light mode we usually prefer working in dark mode and hence the video that's been created right now uh, we thought to be in dark mode but we will use light mode i think it will be much easier while viewing this video so if you feel comfortable with the dark mode then you can also change it from the settings okay so let's first start with the features that we have on the left hand side the first one is compete this is the first feature you can see here and using this feature you can analyze a specific keyword or analyze a website url so having said that not just the keyword you can also input your query and um, okay let's see how it will work so we will use how to rank a video in google keyword to analyze it so it will take a while to get the results and in the result you can see the top 20 articles from Google and their statistics so let's wait while it gets loaded and in the result section here uh, you can see the first tab is the overview tab and it shows the number of characters words paragraphs and sentences along with that it also shows the heading tags used in that particular article you can expand the outline and check the content inside that particular outline if you feel like adding that particular block of the content including the outline as well as the content you can just click on the add hyperlink and it will add the content along with the outline to your writing canvas alternatively it also allows you to add the outline only or the entire content so it's your choice on how you will be doing that the next step is questions here you will get to see all the questions that were used in those articles you can import those questions to your writing canvas automatically by clicking the add hyperlink 
so whatever you feel uh, is good for your content you can just click on the add hyperlink and that will be added to your writing canvas so another tab here is the stats it will give you all the numbers and the percentage values that are being used inside those articles here we would like to recommend you to verify those numbers if you are trying to import them into your canvas or if you're trying to use them in your article because data accuracy is one of the key factors that will help you to build the trust with your audiences and to connect with your audiences so the one tip over here is to verify them before using them into your article okay another tab that we have here is the insights this will give you more insights on the keywords and the clusters this will give you insight into the keywords that are being used by the article it it will show you the coverage and occurrences of a particular keyword in that article so how many times that particular keyword has been appeared what is the coverage and so on so this insight may help you while writing your own article and give you more insight on where to focus and next it shows is a cluster of keywords you can see them in a group manner and select the appropriate one from the list if you click on the cluster it will add that particular cluster to your writing canvas okay so this is about the first feature that we have reviewed and it's called compete so basically this is all about the analysis the next feature that we can see on the list is compose this feature will let you create your copy draft automatically you just need to enter the keyword or your query select the language and just relax the closures copy ai will generate the first draft for you so let's try and enter the query how to rank a video in google and select the language and continue as you can see it has generated various headlines for us and upon expanding it will give other headlines like s2 s3 and whatever for the headlines that's been used this feature might be good for you if you are thinking of creating an article but don't know where to start from and how to start select the ones that uh, we feel uh, we might need them and click on compose so it will take some time to generate the first draft content but uh, let's be patient here while it's composing so it might take some minutes for you to compose them so you will also see the progress on how many characters it has written for you so let's wait for the generation okay so now it has generated the content and on the right hand side you can see the outline and the middle content canvas you will see the content that closures copy has drafted for you and we would recommend you to customize the content and use it since the content it has generated is a draft it won't be up to par and you will need to customize it reorganize it and even restructure it before using it please be noted that you may also receive content that is not part of what you are looking for so this is something uh, that we would like to highlight over here so you may need to sometimes remove the content that you can see over there and that are not related to what you are looking for this is still in beta or this feature is still in beta and will be improved over time that's what we believe so we hope to have a solid drafting tool in near future but at least it will give you some direction in the beginning the next feature here is long form this is all about creating the long form content and uh, the one thing that we have noticed while creating the long, long form content is the input determines the quality of content closures copy will generate smarter input results in quality content that's what we have felt so far so if you input the open-ended sentences and and let the closure copy and generate the content for you you will get some valuable content out of it so let's try this as our input video SEO how to rank a video in Google and see the long form closures copy will generate for us 
or it has created a long form for the outline that's been selected this is good whenever you will be creating a blog post or uh, the articles that you would like to share somewhere so this long form will be quite handier during those period next is frameworks this is something that we have been using widely with the help of closures copy frameworks you can create content quickly you just need to select the framework you will be using input the parameter and closures copy will get the content ready for you there are more than 50 frameworks to select them let's try creating an outline for our topic how to rank a video in google so here you can control the creative level and the number of outputs let's generate three uh, outputs and click on create button so it has generated an outline for our topic we can either just copy that outline or add it to the writing canvas the best thing here is recently closures copy has added the community built frameworks so best thing here is we can find the community i mean frameworks from the community that has built it and use them according to our requirement so the community can create the framework and share it or if you like uh, to create a new framework and you'd like to share with the community you can do that recent but this feature has been added recently and this particular part we have been using quite a lot okay so we will also have another video on how you can create frameworks and share it to the community or how you can create your own framework and use it for your own purpose so we will create a video on that a little later okay the next feature that you can see over here is wizards okay so you can use the predefined and proven templates from closure copy to create the content here it shows the list of templates that you can pick from this is a template based module and let's try creating content uh, from the discount promotion template we can just uh, adjust the name and some of the values over here and it's done so let's click on next and here we got the discount promotional content right within so you can also customize it according to your preference and use it uh, within your article so this is cool when you would like to create some content that's been guided by some predefined templates okay now next is the libraries so it's a collection of templates that you can use as you can see you can create sales letter emails and various other stuffs using this one this may get updated over time and we are pretty sure that it will be updated uh, you can select any of the templates from the libraries preview them or add them to the writing canvas you can tweak some values and use them accordingly the next one we have under the libraries is Tesseras. here you can find similar words or synonyms it will be useful while you are writing the content and use synonyms or similar words instead of some value that you have in your mind this will provide you the synonym and antonym for the keyword that you have entered so let's try to find some synonyms and antonyms of the word love okay so we can see a lot of uh, values over there but the only thing that we don't have over here is to add them to your writing canvas we hope that that will be added sometime soon so the next is the words so it will show the power and sensory words you can select the type of word that you want to add to the writing canvas and click on the add button to add it to your article Closures copy uh, keeps on saving your content automatically and if you want to recover something from the previous endpoint you can do that by clicking the backups under the libraries menu so that's all about the libraries uh, feature we have over here and the next one we have is the insights you can get the insights of an article that you have written for example what emotions does the article contains whether it has a positive sentiment or a negative sentiment the density of the words used spam check this is something we have been using widely so that we are pretty sure in the beginning that the our email that you have sent to our customers or clients doesn't end up 
the spam folder. So you can also check the sentence insight and voice insight. Voice insight gives you the insight on whether it's using passive voice or active voice, etc. Uh, well, we are coming closer to the end, so we have uh, three more. Uh, from the settings, you can enable and disable the color mode that we have already demonstrated in the beginning. And uh, according to your preference, you can switch back to either dark mode or light mode. Well, you can also enable or disable the outline that you can see on the right hand side. So there is the outline of uh, the content that you have written on the right hand side. You can enable, uh, you can either hide that or show that accordingly that you can do from settings. Next is the training section. So I, we also call it the graduation section where you will see a lot of mini lessons on how to start with Flojers Copy. Then the last one is the download. Once you're done with your content, you can just download it either in the PDF or Word format. So that's uh, what all about the features in Closures Copy. So let us know how you uh, like it. And if you have any questions, just uh, write down in the comment section below and we will get back to you.